Hello and welcome back to a brand new course PySpark Zero to Hero. Now before you think what is different in this course, let me give you three reasons why you should look into this course. First, Spark is in huge demand for data engineers. Not only for data engineers, even data analysts and data scientists are also using Spark. Second, we are in threat. Generative AI is on rise. It can write any type of code that you need. So we must need to have a difference from writing code to understand how and why the things are important and how the things work in the background. Third, I will be sharing many tips with you and tricks that we use in general production scenario when we work with Spark. So to begin with, hi, I am Shubham and I will be your instructor throughout this course. Believe me, by the end of this course, you will be a hero in PySpark. To start the course, let's see what is Spark. Spark is nothing but an open source unified computing engine for parallel data processing. Distributed computing is on rise and Spark is one of them. It supports major programming languages such as Java, Scala, Python, R and Spark is built up on Scala. And the important reason why we should use Spark for data processing is Spark is 100 times faster than MapReduce of traditional Hadoop. Spark processes data using RAM which is in memory and which is very fast. What are the Spark important components? Now I'll not dig much more into Spark components because you have seen a lot of documents, lot of videos about it. I'll just tell you what is important. These are the Spark components on high level structure. Spark consists of three components, low level API, structured API, libraries and ecosystem. The low level API is the bottom structure of Spark component and the structured API is built upon low level APIs. Low level APIs are generally consist of RDD, which is resilient distributed data and distributed variables. Structured APIs such as Spark SQL data frame data sets are built on top of RDD and are optimized for use. The top level consists of libraries and ecosystem such as structured streaming which is built up upon structured APIs, advanced analytics, graph query languages and other such huge libraries that Spark support. This is all as an introduction for Spark. I'll not bore you with too much of introduction for Spark. You can go and learn a lot about Spark in internet. But this is all we need to know for now. In the next video, we will see how Spark works under the hood. We will see how Spark distributed data and how Spark works in a parallel computing way. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.